Hey Simon, 2-1 win against Brentford into the quarterfinals of the Cup, you must be very pleased. Yes, delighted. Um, after the first half as well where, where we turned a lot of ball over um, and we know how they play, they're, they're a good football inside Brentford and always have been and their philosophy is, is bang on. Um, but we gave the ball away uh, too much um, first half and, and they've hurt us and our goalkeeper did his job. You know, I don't think he pulled off any world is, but he's had, a, he's had three or four reasonable saves to make, which, which the kid's done, which is pleasing. I guess particularly pleasing, just as you mentioned, it was two very good sides out there, Brentford and no Omar, because they, they started the game very well, they, they were very impressive, so for us to overcome that, I guess, is, I mean, we, we really do deserve that place in the next round. Oh, I think so, because I think in, all I said to him at half-time was, was cut down the turnovers, um, our 7-11 and our 10, we've turned the ball over, and if we've got ball, then we ask players to make creative runs, because we want to create. You know, it's development football, um, and we stopped that, and we got better at that. And also, I thought I thought we looked fit because in the second half they seemed to lose their legs a little bit, and we've grown into it and grown into it. And and the game's ninety minutes, isn't it? You know, it, it's not about first forty-five. It's it's about what you do over the stretch. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought we kept the ball much better and created better opportunities um, and took them. And you must have been delighted with the commitment of the players, especially at the end, throwing bodies on the line, getting back, getting themselves muddy. There was one stage where they all looked absolutely oh. knackered, having um, stopped a late chance. Yeah, Mickey Kennedy, I think it was. I think he's blocked one from distance. He's got up and blocked another one and then thrown himself into another one. But, but again, again, before the game, this is, this is a one-hit game. So we've got to win it. If you don't, you're out. And we're in the last eight. And, you know, we ask that of our players. And we always will. That won't change. But... Uh, but Good to see, good to see that commitment. And a helping hand from a couple of the pros, especially Christian Sabaos getting, getting the winning goal. Yes, he came on and played 10. Um, he's, he's very receptive, he's, he's a natural lefty mm -hmm. and it's a great strike for the goal, isn't it? But it, what's pleasing is that, that he worked hard out of possession because it's not easy and you know we're here to help, obviously, and, and it, it's good for him and, and good for us for him to score the winner. So 12 games, well, 12, well 13 games, 12 wins. Um, 12 fighting games unbeaten, sorry. 12 yep. wins out of those. Eight in a row. Yep. Top of the league. Quarterfinals of the Kent Cup. Quarterfinals of the under twenty one Premier League Cup. You can't really ask for anything more at the moment, can you? No it's, no, it's good. It's good. But we can get better, can't we? And, and that's my job. We can get better. First half, we weren't good enough. We, we defended OK. We defended as a group and, and our, our structure was OK. But if you keep turning ball over against, against good football inside, they're going to create chances, which they did. And... We want to develop, but we also want to win football matches. And you know, the boys, the boys are eight straight, so so that's great. But you can always get better. Yeah.